an overcrowded home cleared out at the oceanfront. Code enforcement found around 40 beds inside one dwelling. But it's part of a bigger problem for international workers. Ten on your side's Matt Gregory has more on what housing issues face international students that come to work in the resort city. Matt? Yeah, every year J-1 student visa workers come from their homes in Europe and Asia to work at the oceanfront here. And when they get here, they get a list like this one. On it is a list of places they can live, including this house behind me, the one that yesterday code enforcement found more than 40 beds crammed inside. According to city code enforcement, the home on 24th Street had several violations, starting outside with the cracked concrete and moving inside to the doors and floors that need to be repaired and, of course, the overcrowding issue. The city says the property owner will have time to fix the issues, but in the meantime, the city also says the foreign workers will have to find somewhere else to stay. I say, gentlemen, give me 24 hours and I will find these kids a place to live. B.A. Andrews is the housing coordinator for international student workers at Virginia Beach. Andrews calls it an epidemic, a shortage of suitable housing options for summer workers. This has been going on for years and years because the responsibility of these sponsors should get off the duff and find these kids reasonable housing. Take, for example, Diana I. De Aleva. She's from Kazakhstan. I think to experience the culture and also to see some places, the people, get some new friends, earn money. <laughs> But it wasn't all perfect. Before we came to America, like we chatted with one of the owners here, uh, but he, he said that okay, like I will give you accommodation. But when we came here, like the week before the arrival, he just said no vacancy, like something like that. Instead, she and a friend arrived and then sat at the ocean front with their bags. They talked to people and friends until they could find a place to stay. It's just one of the stories of housing at the ocean front. B.A. Andrews says he doesn't believe this is the only overcrowded home here at the oceanfront, but he hopes this investigation by code enforcement will bring those other issues to light. In Virginia Beach at the oceanfront, I'm Matt Gregory. Ten on your side.